Americans are feeling the squeeze at the grocery store. Inflation, coupled with the impact of Omicron and the ongoing supply chain concerns, are driving up the price of food and related consumer goods. CNN's Gabe Cohen live for us in Washington with these numbers to tell us exactly what shoppers and Americans are dealing with here, Gabe. And Brianna, Americans everywhere are seeing these price hikes at the market and even some shortages. And it's only getting worse as the food supply chain faces skyrocketing costs to get products all the way from farms to store shelves. It's real tough. For Mike Crowder, finding affordable food has been difficult. He's battling cancer and living on a tight budget. It's hard for me to get out here and work and be around people. Sometimes, you know, you just have to do without some things uh, to, uh, to eat. Grocery costs keep climbing on everything from meat to seafood, produce, cereal, and much more, with overall prices up 9% from a year ago. It feels like I'm paying a lot more at the register when I finally do check out. Now big-name brands are raising prices. Kraft Heinz is the latest, announcing hikes on Velveeta cheese, Oscar Mayer meats, coffee, and Kool-Aid, joining General Mills, Campbell's Soup, and Procter & Gamble, which is raising the price of Tide laundry products. So they've put off as long as possible, and now we're going to feel the effect of that for the next few months. The entire food supply chain is facing surging costs, congestion, and a labor shortage, which have hardly improved. The number of cargo ships parked off the California coast hit a record high in January, with more than 100 still waiting, even after the ports unloaded 13% more containers than ever before in 2021. The cost of ingredients, packaging, and transportation keeps skyrocketing. The extraordinary cost pressure that we're seeing across all different businesses right now is landing in that last resort, and that's why you're seeing the inflation. And Omicron is adding to it, peeling workers from warehouses, processing facilities, and grocery stores. This month, U.S. pork production dropped 8% in just a week, with staff sick or quarantined. With fewer employees, distributors are cutting orders to some grocery stores by 20 to 40 percent. It's been whack-a-mole. It's one item one day and then, you know, a completely different segment the, the next. And demand for groceries keeps surging with people stuck at home and inflation at a 39-year high. A lot of times you're, you're limited with what you can get. A recent survey found 37% of customers are very concerned about shortages seen on items like pet food, paper goods, and cream cheese. There's just not as many things on the shelves. The Biden administration says they're working to ease inflation, accusing some of the largest meat processors of raising prices just to drive up profits. But experts are projecting more grocery price hikes in the months ahead. We have to be really strategic and intentional. Beth Monsell runs a blog about cooking on a budget. Her advice? Look for sales flyers before shopping, join store loyalty programs, and plan meals around cheap filling items like rice and beans, as well as shelf-stable ingredients like frozen vegetables. Because every time you throw food away, you're literally just throwing money in the garbage. Every dollar counts for families struggling to eat these costs. It's going to be kind of hard, but I, you know, I just got to get out here and find something to do and make it work. Now, experts are urging people not to go out and panic buy groceries. There should be plenty of food, but there may be more limited options in the months ahead. And again, Brianna, those price increases, they're expected to continue with U.S. consumer sentiment already at its lowest point since 2011. Yeah, it's so odd, Gabe. And I'll tell you, I've noticed over and over there are certain things that I struggle to get. Anchovies, which seems very odd to me, jalapenos and juice boxes for my kids. Really yeah, hard it's to very come by. Week to week, yeah. Yeah, it certainly is. Gabe, thank you for the report.